Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So I've got back tonight and something's turned up. A nice package. It says QC24. What could this be? Let's open it up and see. Packaging off. Oh, what? It says quad. Blimey. Looks nice. And it's a nice compact box so there we have it look at that a quad QC24 valve amplification system so I need to do some good reading up on that what do we have here Ah, so this is the power cord for it, which I won't be using because this is just a throwaway one, but I'll keep hold of it for now. So we'll stick it back in there. Right, let's see the this nice piece of equipment here. Right, let's put that down there. Very compact. Comes in a nice bag there, nice and soft. There we go, look at that. Look at that beauty. Lovely. Really nice, smooth. So, this is going to go with the quad 405 that I have. Uh, the reason I chose this as well is I like the input amounts. Um, and on the whatsapp group not the whatsapp group the facebook group um i asked all the questions on the quad facebook group i'm on and a lot of them were telling me to buy this to go with the 405 other people had other opinions as well but in the end i bit the bullet and uh went for this so um obviously if it if it doesn't if it's not as good as they were all saying i can always return it but i think it will be really good so uh, we've got on the front there, we've got a CD input. Now it doesn't have a, a, a phono preamp built into this because I don't need it. So I didn't get the phono preamp um, that cut the, the cost back. Um, it's got a tuner input, two tape loops and two auxiliary inputs as well. So there's plenty of inputs there. So, um, so yeah, it's a very nice piece of equipment. So and it's it's there's the fuse on the back where the power cord goes in. So all in all, that's going to be a very nice sounding amp. Now it has a, a tube inside it, only one I think. So, um, but yeah, yeah. I hope you like this. So it was just a quick video. Um, so back to the quad four oh five. I got this back from Deco Audio. Um, I asked them if they could do some upgrades to it so they took the uh, the top plate and the bottom plate off and um, now the guy there James who's the audio technician he does upgrades he specializes in upgrades there and he emailed me to say he's looked at it all and he said it doesn't need upgrading it, it the, the conversion that was done by lucid designs was a quality conversion he said i'll just be wasting my money so the only upgrades you can do really are the data boards the uh, high-end data boards now he said he's fitted them before and he's in a, his a opinion that the um that the boards in this 
are as good as the data boards and he said you'd be wasting your money putting the data boards in now this idea that they were cheap chinese boards he's dismissed that he said they're not he showed me a picture of the cheap chinese boards and the boards that are in this and they're totally different and uh so this this um preamp is going to go where the rcam 10 is so the rcam 10 is going to be no um not used anymore so i'm going to spend the rest of the evening setting it up and uh listening to it obviously i've got to uh run the break the uh the unit in um but yeah yeah i mean i'm gonna be uh super pleased this is uh, gonna be my last purchase for a long time because <laughs> i still value my um yes you know what i mean the wife is already on my case so um yeah so i'm gonna get this set up and i'll do a total review on it once it's all up and it's um it's all broken in and uh, running lovely. So all I've got to say now is uh, thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to um, press that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And thanks for watching, guys.